Oh, that can go in here. Yeah, do the fine. Hi, my name is Wendy Rogers. As Green School Chair for the U.S. Green Building Council, I'm really excited to share our Adopt-A-School project with you. Nationally, this Adopt-A-School program has seen some success and we began to say on our own committee here in Orange County, what can we do to be able to share the financial and health benefits of a green school environment with our greater community? And when we had Davis Magnet School brought to our attention, it was a natural fit. We're doing um, quite a lot on campus. Um, we have a really strong program in place where we are recycling every day at lunch, um, both lunch periods where we are sorting through trash, we are taking our green waste and putting it in our recycle bins, or excuse me, our compost bins. We are sorting out plastics, cardboards, everything that needs to be reused um, or recycled. And in addition, we are um, taking our compost, which we just realized we have a ton that we get to utilize in our beautiful garden. And so we can actually see the fruits of our labor, basically. I do it because I actually, um, as crazy as it sounds, I actually enjoy doing this because I like, I'm like a science person. So I love to see everything, you know, rot and get, <laughs> Um, go in there and I like to see the phases and it's really amazing. I have one of these bins at my house and we haven't um, gotten much soil yet and um, it's amazing how in a matter of a few months we have gotten so much like good nutrient rich like soil from just doing this every day. You know we have reduced waste by up to 100 pounds some days like um, I remember when we started, our first lunch was about 183 pounds of trash before we started recycling and everything. Then I went out another lunch and I was weighing the trash and we had about 80 pounds. So if you think about it, if we reduce like in the years to come also, 100 pounds a day, that's almost like 100,000 pounds of trash that we have taken in out of the landfill and that's like a huge impact. I think these kids here at Davis are truly extraordinary students. I've really never seen anything like it. I've taught for 14 years and you know being at three different schools over the 14 years these kids are completely dedicated to making a difference and changing our world and doing something that goes beyond working just for themselves. They understand that they get a, a you know a personal gratification out of it when they're doing something like recycling or helping the environment, but they also are being selfless by trying to educate others and trying to help things that don't always benefit them directly and in the moment. The first objective we have with this project is to monitor two identical classrooms at Davis Magnet and to measure the baseline energy and water consumption. We are then going to retrofit one of the two classrooms in the summer of 2012 with state-of-the-art green building measures. That will then give us the ability to measure the performance of the retrofitted and standard classrooms during the next school year. As a science, math, and technology magnet school, this is a perfect fit for us because Davis Magnet School really emphasizes hands-on inquiry-based learning and real live experimentation and so to involve two of our classrooms on the campus where literally we're going to have a control classroom and an experimental classroom and all of the measurements and data and information that's produced is things that will not only benefit the actual scientific researchers but also be fully available to us as teachers and students here at the school so the kids will be able to analyze the data work with it and look for differences look for trends and patterns and it will be very much more meaningful for the boys and girls because it's something that's actually happening right here and they're involved in it now the the school is so aware of like recycling and you know energy conservation and everything that we do already so I'm kind of excited for the kids next year who are coming in to see that there's more that you can do than just you know separating colored paper and white paper or you know bottles here and cans there that there's actually like physical changes you can make to your homes or your classrooms or anything like that so I think it'll just be interesting for them to be in the environment. They're so aware of little things like that now that I think as they get older, taking it deeper is something that will be important that they need to carry on. So I think, I mean, I obviously have a lot of learning to do too. I mean, I'm still at the, you know, the basic level myself. So I think just being able to take advantage of what's in there and learning together and exploring together will be exciting. I hope that you have a better understanding now of the benefits this project can have to our Orange County community.
and how important it is that we share how much a green school can really impact both the learning environment for the students and the operational savings that can be had by our school districts. And if there was ever a time that we could demonstrate that to our school districts so they had more money in the classroom instead of just on the classroom, that would be a huge advantage. Projects of this significance wouldn't be possible without contributions from our Orange County community. We're very thankful for all of the sponsors that we have that have made what we have so far possible. But we need more. We want to have this project come to fruition this summer. And to do that, we still need your support. If you're interested in giving toward this project or simply learning more about it, please contact us at the website below.